Dun dun dun! Hello cryptocurrency, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to check out a bit of a market overview of what's going on and look at Terra Luna 2.0 which is just around the corner and I'm sure many of you are anticipating good things for this project. I want you to watch to the end because there's some very important news about what happens in terms of the token distribution. So basically the Luna we know today will become Luna Classic and um, you know the Luna that we are seeing the brand new tokenomics construction is going to be luna 2.0 a completely new rebuild so what's happening with the bitcoin market at the moment if we look at some macroeconomic factors well we've got the fed officials tightening down on monetary policies trying to reduce those rates fed officials raise possibility of restrictive policy to fight inflation so this is quite important Federal Reserve officials discussed the, pol the possibility of moving the U.S. central bank to a restrictive policy stance that would better fight inflation through more aggressive interest rate increases, but worried that this could undermine the strong recovery in the jobs market. This would match the Fed's goal of expeditiously getting interest rates back up to a neutral setting, where it is neither boosting or stunting the economy. So we're just going to have a bit of a, a halt for the growth. So less aggressive tightening or even a pause, maybe both on the table later in the year if the economy starts to slow down dramatically, though that is not the Fed's main assumption. We see here a bout of choppy trading following the minutes ultimately pushed the S&P 500 and NASDAQ composite indices to session highs. Treasury yields, which were lower across the maturities on Wednesday, were little change. And we're seeing a lot of this reflection in the cryptocurrency markets as well. We are not decoupling. We are still very much correlated. That is why... We are taking strong actions that will bring inflation back down. I think their target is 2%. Brainard said during a commencement address at the School for Advanced International Studies at John Hopkins University in Washington over there, guys. So that's um, quite an interesting news. Personally, I think you know, we've got a lot of analysts looking at the 200-week moving average. I personally think this is also an area where Bitcoin usually does always bounce off, and that's the purple line right here. You can see... Bear market following 2014, 15, we bounced off that 200 week moving average. This is the 2017, 18 bull market, of course, with the very famous bull run. That was probably the, the bull run where so many people missed out. And that's why we got such a big, large euphoric FOMO and overextended bull market this time around. It happened basically twice. Um, you can see we bounced off the 200 week moving average over here, March 2020. This one here indicated the COVID-19 crash. Now, what we've got at the moment is, of course, a lot of geopolitical crisis like Ukraine and Russia war. We also have the high inflation rates, but we also have the Terra Luna FUD, which I do compare with the COVID-19 crash. COVID-19 was more of a fearful, anomalous event, whereas the, the Luna, the Terra Luna event has been more of a damaging sort of, I suppose, a bit of a shady conspiracy like event which has actually damaged the entire blockchain and the trust and integrity we have in this technology so it doesn't look very appealing to brand new investors we are yet to come down to this 200 week moving average so people are speculating can we move down to the twenty thousand dollar mark the eighteen thousand dollar mark well it's certainly very possible so you know all cards are not off the table just yet so what we do know though is if we do touch the 200 week moving average it usually represents a fantastic undervaluation reaccumulation zone where where you would be basically building a long-term hodl portfolio so we want to make some money here guys if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that notification bell to be part of the notification nation so here we go bitcoin what's going on just a quick update we are really really holding this line right now and i think it's quite interesting to see how sensitive this particular area for bitcoin is you see this thirty thousand dollar mark right here very very crucial because you've got big double top almost a flat correction you see we've got the bearish divergence when you look at this top and this top and it was just going to happen so we could certainly lose support and come down to lower levels not sure how low but lots of people do think that we are going to come a lot lower if we look at the price estimates over here um if i quickly submit an estimation it doesn't really matter what i'm going to put twenty six thousand. We will see what other people think the price of Bitcoin will become. And everyone is so bullish. I don't know why they're putting 42k for June and 41k. Very inaccurate. I don't think we're going to see these numbers. I think we are in a macro downtrend at the moment, guys. And that's the way it's going to be. So Terra Luna today, Terra 2.0 is nearly 
here. Extremely exciting. We can see there's a tweet. Terra 2.0 is coming with overwhelming support. The Terra ecosystem has voted to pass Proposal 163, calling for the genesis of a new blockchain and the preservation of our community. Interesting stuff. So right around the corner. How are you preparing for this particular change? Are you preparing? Maybe it doesn't even directly affect you. And this is the thread that we've got just here. So we've got the Terra revival plan, which has been fully amended now. That's got everything you know about the path and everything you need to know about the path. So check on out that Twitter. It's going to let you know about the tokenomics, the distribution, the developer mining program. You're going to see the token distribution, which is also very important. And it's going to include the snapshots of UST and Luna holders before the actual attack, is, which is what they're calling it. They're calling it an attack. So do check out their um, revival plan. It's been updated now. So if you need to know a bit more information about that, head over to the Terra Luna Twitter. Now what I see is number three, it will effectively create a new Terra chain without the algorithmic stablecoin. The old chain will be called Terra Classic and the new chain will be called Terra or Luna. The chain upgrade will commence a few hours after the launch snapshot. Four, the final release of TerraCore has been released in preparation for the new cha chain launch on 27th of May. Number five, Luna will be airdropped across Luna Classic stakers, Luna Classic holders, residual UST holders, and essential app developers of Terra Classic. What have we got number six? So six token distribution details can be found in governance proposal, but to summarize, Community pool will be receiving 30%. The pre-attack Luna holders will get 35%. Pre-attack UST holders, 10%. Then you've got the post-attack. This is another snapshot. Post-attack Luna holders, 10%. Post-attack UST holders, 15%. So we will have a look at a simplified version of this in a little bit. So stick around till the end of the video. As you see, the proposal allocates a large portion of the token distribution to provide runway for existing TerraDAP developers and to align the interest of developers with the long-term success of the ecosystem. Still, I think this whole hard fork and this Luna Classic is just a big screw you from Luna because they're just creating this new chain which basically costs them nothing and really the LFG should be basically taking a snapshot of all the small wallet holders and the people that basically lost their savings and then giving back to them as compensation from the LFG but we know that's not going to happen right. 8. TFL's wallet so you can actually have a look at what's going on with LFG's wallet if you want to see their holdings. 9. The removal of these wallets from the airdrop whitelist will make Terra a fully community-owned chain. We believe this is an important step to empowering the ecosystem. Right, of course, because you really care about your people. Number 10. We are proud to be working closely with central ex centralized exchange partners such as Binance, Bybit Official, and many others to support the airdrop to our community members who held tokens on exchanges. So I suppose they're compensating in a way where we don't really know what the value is truly going to be. Is it fishy? I don't really know. Am I bullish? I don't really know. Again, I think there'll be opportunity, but uh, I'd like to see what happens once it's released on these sexes and, you know, see how the price action and price structure unfolds, because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of trust, if I'm honest, a lot of faith in the project. So we had a look at this. Do Kwon himself wrote this. Check out that revival plan. I think it's very important that you do understand exactly what it is. I will leave it down in the description below. Oh, by the way, guys, make sure you do hop into my Discord channel. Also, you can find this in the description below. Make sure you also check out the Telegram channels for the business to community for the best crypto insight and news and also the learn to trade channel if you want to learn how to trade <laughs> so you're going to get all the the charts and the um you know the macro trends or the bear charts or the bullish charts all the continuation patterns reversal patterns you'll find everything in that telegram so what's also going on is the orbital command this is what i wanted to show you so if you haven't heard terra 2 testnet is live mainnet goes live friday so it's just happening in a few days time basically tomorrow guys here's everything you need to know about terra 2.0 this is what i wanted to show you this particular tweet right here so three over 10, how much Luna you will get for each category. Pre-attack Luna, one Luna, you're gonna get 1.1, roughly. Pre-attack UST, you'll be getting 0 0.033 for your dollar. So effectively you're getting 3% back of what you lost. If you had $10,000, you're gonna get $300, roughly. Post-attack Luna, you're gonna get one. So if you had one Luna, you're going to get 0 0.000015, which is absolutely peanuts. 
Um, I think if you had like a million, that means you'd get 3,000, no, 1,500, if I'm correct. One, two, three, four. Could, could it either be 1,500 or 15,000 Luna if you had 1 million pre attack. Pre attack UST, you're getting. Oh, sorry, post attack UST, you're getting 0 0.013. So again, not crazy, crazy numbers. Obviously, pre attack, you're getting more compensation and much more of the Luna. And the post attack Luna, of course, because this is just people that have basically bought in DeFi, degening, trying to scalp trade. It's not the same at all, really, is it? Um, Interesting to see, interesting to see. So if you had 1,000 USD May 27, you're gonna get 0 0.013 divided by 1,000 equals 13 new Luna on the post um, USD. So that's interesting, very, very interesting. Um, and I don't know if I'm very bullish about this at all, but it's the news and you people need to know exactly what's happening. Here is Luna at the moment, old Luna, shall we say, which will become Luna Classic. And this is currently in a symmetrical triangle we just lost this um, horizontal diagonal support of the symmetrical triangle and we're getting that back test of the resistance. It looks like it did break back through. If we look at the five minute time frame, we've got lots of volatility. As you see, we're just all over the place on this relative strength index and we did come down to a low of 0 0.0014. Now, when you look yesterday, we were just looking at this bullish chart pattern where we had the bull flag, the bull pennant. And to be honest, we hit a price target of $0.0002. But then we just saw capitulation in the market. We lost the support again and all the way back down. So extreme volatility. Be careful with these projects. I am not bullish on Luna or anything Luna related. I don't like the project. I don't like who's behind it. I don't trust them, nor do I even care about them. But what I do care about is keeping you guys safe and staying away from these scammy rug pull and even just unfaithful projects that of course are not really doing the due diligence and actually looking after the community the way they should so i do expect continuation to the downside for old luna in fact i expect us to come all the way back down to roughly 0 0.00001 i expect us to lose another zero in the long term um, but that's only if we see Bitcoin, of course, capitulate down to the 200 week moving average. So for now, the short term targets, I reckon this could easily fall and find support around this particular 0 0.001 level. The 0 0.0001 level is quite sensitive. And if we lost that, we'd be seeing even more continuation to the downside. But I do think that is quite likely, unlikely on this particular occasion. So guys, that's about wrap. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as I will be staying here through the entire cryptocurrency bear market. If you also want to become a patron as well, you're going to get some fantastic, unique benefits, access to the Discord, a free ebook. You're going to get trading signals as well as scheduled calls, one on one lessening, tutorials, whatever you need to guide you through the cryptocurrency journey. So we'll be navigating these bear markets. And basically, what that means is maximizing the extreme fear so that when we do get back to extreme greed, we can prosper and thrive and generate some wealth. We want to make some money. So that's about a wrap. See you soon. Bye now.